Another open top box today from Nike. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicks Reasons channel. Today we're looking at the Nike Zoom Air Windflow 8 Shield, a longer name, but this is the Nike Shield version of the popular runner, the Windflow. Uh, and this is the 8th generation. Now we have the 9th version being sold and just recently Nike released the 10th version which is not much different than the 9th. But let's look at the 8th one because I grabbed this one from again the back wall of the Nike factory store and I paid under $40 for this pair and for $40 I think they're absolutely amazing. And what's great about this one is obviously the Nike Shield. So what Nike Shield is, this is a main brain cover. Uh, from Nike that is trying to keep your feet uh, dry when you're using these shoes outside and if you've been with my channel for a while you see that I constantly try to bring models from Adidas or other brands that are offering some sort of a water protection I spend a lot of my uh, time outside and when it rains I would like to keep my feet dry and those of you that are hikers runners outdoors and you like to spend a lot of time uh, on the outside you know that it's very good to have something like that. Now with this specific model, I just recently acquired the Windflow 9. I'm gonna show it to you in a separate video, but I personally think the 8 is actually a better shoe. Uh, not only because of the technology behind it, not only because this is the shield version, obviously, but even the regular version, I believe it's better uh, because what they've done on the midsole, outsole, and air unit right here. With the Windflow, we have Zoom Air, an extremely, extremely soft midsole. I'm not sure what kind of uh, phylon or polylite compound they have on the midsole, but this is probably the softest shoe I've personally seen outside of Boost. So compared to any other midsole that I've seen in many, many years, this is extremely soft and spongy. Even with your fingers, when you compress it, it almost feels like you can connect your fingers all the way through when you, when you squeeze. And this with a combination with the Zoom Air, this is an extremely bouncy and springy model and I really like how light they are. So these, these are extremely light. Uh, they are lighter than the ninth version, the one that I just said that I acquired. And I think the design looks a very slick and extremely, extremely nice over here, especially on this uh, shield version. Uh, we have the little reflective strip on the back. We have the little patch for Nike shield on the lateral side. And I like this uh, new design they're kind of doing now with the swoosh and then a tiny swoosh right into it nested. Um, with small little details here and there on the ton we have Nike Shield uh, a little raindrop right here on the first loops we have a rubberized toe protector we have exaggerated toe lip coming from the outsole the outsole is very nice and grippy for wet terrains so again if you're spending time outside if you're a climber if you're a hiker uh, if you're afraid of slipping on wet surfaces you're not going to have problems with these on the in intermediate side, it says water repellent, water repellent, water wet traction, warmed re reflectivity, which is again uh, all true. Uh, and you will see see them on feet. I pour some water. I want to try to test them. Uh, you know, of course, they're not up to the standards of Gore-Tex. I think shoes with Gore-Tex and. Uh, uh, are a little bit better. They provide a little bit more protection when it comes to the elements. But Nike Shield is very good. This is my third, I think, model from Nike that has Nike Shield and I've used them all the time outside with a very good result. The insole is very interesting, um, a kind of a polylite one with a lot of support that it's kind of sculptured around your heel, uh, your arch. On the bottom it says Dura Pontax, which again, I'm not familiar with this compound, but it's very reminiscent to the ones that I've shown you from Reebok Athletics. And this is a very good insole. When we look at the ton, it's actually not a ton, it's all one piece. It is kind of connected with the upper, so that way water doesn't get inside. And there's some writing into the little crevice uh, between uh, the folds that says rain, do not enter here cute i like what they're doing and the inner liner is very interesting very very soft and plush reminds me of actually some of those fleece uh, hoodies and sweaters that i have and the pool tab on the inside has a cloud rain sun and thunder so i guess they have you covered all around if you're using these the fit and the size is true to size and these are produced in june of last year i think they released towards the end of the year and just amazing that from generation eight 
to now generation 10 has been less than six months or around six months and there's already two generation came out but personally i think the combination here uh be between this uh, nike bright orange kind of a muted brown and a little bit of blue uh, looks uh, very nice and these uh, are not one of those shoes that people are going to be seeing from miles away but they are extremely comfortable and they provide a lot of cover and if you see one of those pairs anywhere available and if you're spending a lot of time outdoors trust me you're going to enjoy these a lot personally under 40 dollars i paid these are an absolute steal and i'll be wearing these a ton because of all that factors that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the rest of the videos on the channel and some new coming very soon and as always guys you have a wonderful day